Yo, what's good, everybody? JP here, checking in live, respectmyregion.com. Coming to you guys live from the OG Cannabis Cafe. We're in West Hollywood, California. I got a very special guest, Psycho Les. I like I'm having today, my man. I'm chilling, B. I'm chilling, yeah. man. It's good to see you to be here. Right here. Yeah, salute everybody. Checking us out, you know, you know what it is. I appreciate you rocking with us today. Uh, my team and I put together a couple questions. We're honored to be here as a guest. I know you're a legendary producer and an artist. So we wanted, we wanted to dive in and learn a little bit about the history. Pay respect to the to the 50 years of hip hop. Yeah. Does that sound all right? Yeah. Oh, fire, fire, fire. All right. So first, we're going to shut off with where cannabis is at. We're in L.A. You spend time in New York. Have you been there recently? Have you tried the weed out there and been in the legal market a little bit? Yeah. Uh, here. What are your thoughts on right. that's looking right now? I mean, I've been to New York recently and definitely the weed is garbage still. I, I don't give a fuck if you got a dispensary on every every fucking block. Like, it's, there's a lot of garbage out there. Yeah. And I actually went into a, a dispensary and I asked the dude, well, where you get, where you guys are getting your weed from? Mm -hmm. And you know, his answer was, I don't know. That's crazy. Like, exactly. So you want me to stop this shit? You don't even know where you're getting your shit from? Like, come on, man. It's important that we get a better understanding of the legal markets versus the other yes, markets. Yes, I'm yes, right for all the No fucking government shit and no nothing laced with chemicals and shit. I want to know what farm you got it from. Well, what fucking, you know, your yeah. stains. Like, like right now, all I'm smoking is be real shit. So, you know, they got Ken G and everybody doing their farms. I know the farmers. I know how they're growing it. I know what they, you know, so I know what I'm smoking, basically. That's super important. I, I really I really care about where weed comes from. I really care about what they make the arm behind that. It's important. It's, it's really important because I, 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 when I was in New York also, I was at a club and motherfuckers would pass me their bag of weed mm -hmm. thinking I was going to be in fest. And I would smell the shit and be like this. Oh, man. I wouldn't tell him nothing, but I'll be like, <laughs> out, out front, like, yeah, yeah, it's cool, it's cool. But I got the real shit right here. That's uh, awesome. So, so it sounds like you've been smoking good weed for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, coming from New York, where we used to smoke bullshit. Yeah. And then moving out to Cali. And, and not only that, moving out to Cali, but even before, we've been coming out to Cali since the 90s. I've been in Cali smoking the good shit, so I always knew where the good shit was, you know? I wanted to dive into a little bit of the music, uh, the music, uh, like, background that you have and kind of touch on some of the creative process. My partner here wrote a little bit about the record Watch Out Now and how that's grown and how that became popular over the years. Can you talk a little bit about cannabis and how that might have been involved or how that played a role in some of the songs that you guys have made and that you've been a part of over the years? Yeah, I mean, cannabis was definitely... And in all our albums, you know, every every project we ever did, ever since the beginning, we was down with native tongues. Me and Juju was always the 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 pie has the 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 the, the drunk guys drinking forty ounces and all that. So, you know, so there there was a time for us, you know. We would me and Juju, we we knew our time was coming. We was like, let's just rock with 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 native tongues right now. Let it, Let's 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 support them and what they doing, the jazz movement, the whole soul funk shit. But when we came out, we was we gonna be the intoxicated demons, you know. We 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 about the shit that you know, yeah, next level. I feel like that was that was huge in terms of you working with the variety of the artists. In terms of all the artists you've ever worked with, been in the studio with, who was the real big smokers over time? Ah man, big smokers, Greg Nice. Uh, Sean Price, R.I.P. You know, rest in peace, Sean Price, big smoker. Um, be real. I'll play one of the biggest. One of the biggest. Me and Be Real got a project coming out right now. It's called Real Cycle. Yep. You know, Real Cycle. So, you put them, put us together. We got some Real Cycle shit. Let's talk about that project. And now with the weed, and how that came about, the inspirations and the studio, any any good stories in that world as, as well? I mean, I mean, you know, man, B, we go way back, and 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 you know, we love Cypress Hill. They love the Beat Nuts, and and, and we love the vibe and and it, and it, and it's, it was good just to 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 you know, I like I like working with different artists because 
they always gonna take my beats to another to another dimension who, and make something crazy out of it. So when I threw B real some beats, he just took them to another level that I was like, wow, we got some fire, kid. I can only imagine around the way. We got some fire, yeah. So it's like, you know, think, just think 2024 right now, 90s shit, but to the next level, hard, hard body shit. And we got a lot of good features on there. Shout out Too Short, he's on the album. Couple of people, Demrek, yeah, some twins. You know, he's he's in he's in here somewhere. Nothing's out, but yeah, we working. That's that's awesome. Are you gonna be? Is there? Are you a part of the tour? Or are you guys uh, traveling together? How does it? How with how with who? With with um with Be Real. real? 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 No, nah, I mean he does. They do their Cypress Hill tour. Oh. I'm doing Beat Nuts tours. Yep, yep, yep. But you guys have anything coming up in in that world? Yeah, Beat Nuts have a tour starting um 4:20. Oh, beautiful. It's a U.S. tour, so look us up. Go to the Beat yeah. Nuts on IG, the Beat Nuts, and, and you're going to see the dates and everything. Follow us. Perfect, perfect. So, yeah. No, that's awesome. Well, I'm, I always try to leave some people with some education or some inspiration. What's some advice you can give to the next generation of producers or the next generation of cannabis people in the game? I mean, as far as everything, man, the, the, the originality is always number one to me. And that's where I come from. Like, I don't come from, I want to sound like this guy or that guy. So I think that works in any, everything, even in weed, even in your packaging, whatever the fuck you pack, like, she got to be original. Like, yeah, don't, don't look like the next guy or sound like the, you know, whatever. 1,000%. You know? Absolutely. Appreciate you, Psycho. Thank you for being with us. Old doubt. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Yeah. Cheers. All right. Cheers, B. Well, man, respect my region, Psycho. Let's we here. OG Cannabis Cafe West Hollywood. We'll see you on the next one. We out.